Clayton Safey here with EJ Holland from the Wolverine.com. We are talking some Wolver- Wolverine recruiting here on Wolverine TV. Uh, head over to the Wolverine.com, use that promo code BLUE60 for two months of our premium content for free. We're talking about Josh Burnham here, elite linebacker in 2022, top Michigan target, uh, obviously up there in Traverse City, Traverse City Central. So, um, EJ, I know you went out to see him, I think, in his season opener, right? And um, you know, you really were impressed. This kid's all over the field for his team, quarterback, making plays on offense, obviously making plays on defense where it looks like he'll play at the college level. Tell me a little bit about, I guess, what you like out of Josh Burnham as a prospect here, especially after seeing him recently. Yeah, I love Josh Burnham. Um, I've always said that I feel like he's a top 100 kid, uh, maybe even a top 50 kid nationally. Right now he's ranked, I think, you know, in the 170s or something like that. Um, I think our national guys need to go out and see him because he puts on quite the show. Uh, You can tell he's just an athletic freak. I mean, the game I saw him in, he scored six touchdowns uh, through, (laughs) through four of them. Lined up at receiver for one play, his one rep at receiver. It was a fade, and he mossed a kid in the end zone. For and he's a touchdown. linebacker. And he's a linebacker, yeah. and he rushed for a touchdown too. Yeah. So, yeah, he's a linebacker. He had half a dozen tackles uh, on the defensive side of the ball, and it was a complete blowout. So um, to have that kind of athletic ability at the linebacker position and an attacking defense like Michigan's defense would be huge. Um, he's a guy that can play all the spots, kind of uh, a la Junior Colson. I actually think he's uh, a longer, skinnier version of uh, Junior Colson. Yeah. I think uh, Josh would have no problem playing that Viper spot, as evidenced by his athletic ability on the offensive side of the ball. He's also He also has the length to come off the edge. Um, he can be your true inside backer like he does at his high school. Um, he can play that will spot. I mean, he can play the Sam, whatever you want him to play. I mean, he'll do so i think that uh josh is uh just a tremendous prospect and overall one of the most impressive prospects i've seen this year actually i did uh a column the 10 best recruits i saw in september and i saw quite a few Mm -hmm. um and josh was number one on my list because he uh i mean he had as good of an in-game performance as you could have yeah and i watched those highlights that you posted it's on this same youtube channel here uh the wolverine Incredible, and again, like we were talking about, he's a linebacker, but he was making all like plays all over the field at all positions. So super impressive. I want to ask you about his recruitment a little bit. Um, you've gone up and spent time with him a couple times. You went over the summer. You were back, like we mentioned, for that game that you were at a couple weeks ago. What is the latest with his recruitment? Um, is he a kid that wants to be a part of a class early and be kind of that trailblazer and recruit other kids, or is he a kid that's going to sit back and say, "Hey, I got a ton of options." Um, he's in a lesser known part of the country up in Traverse City, which is awesome. Um, but, you know, maybe he'll wait for some of those later offers to come. Yeah. Look, look at Alex Van Sumeren in Michigan's class right now, who hasn't really got those offers until he blown up. He blew up and, you know, he's already a Michigan commit, but now he's getting the Alabama looks and things like that. How do you how do you gauge where uh, Josh Burnham's at with all that? Yeah, I don't I don't sense that Josh is a guy that really loves the recruiting process. And I don't think he's going to be a kind of a, a trailblazer just because that's not his personality. He's a very quiet kid. He's a very team first kid. He wants to make his decision after this season, uh, likely a spring decision, to be honest. I think he wants to get this over with uh, fairly quickly. Um, but like I said, he, he's really quiet by nature. I mean, when I went out there, I tweeted all these videos of him, and he didn't retweet any of them because he doesn't like Come on, the man. individual attention. Uh, but no, Josh, uh, and, and Josh is really authentic. I, I, I really like that about Josh. So many times, like, you have these kids that are, like, quiet, but they're, <laughs> I don't even want to say conniving, but some of them are. Um, it's recruiting. It's a crazy world. <laughs> but Josh is really authentically just a nice kid a great kid really like him and so i i'm uh, really interested to see what he does but i do think uh, a spring decision will come and then you just won't hear from him a lot unless you go up to traverse city and see him i just i think people just forget about him because he's up there but i mean he's so talented and he's just and he's just because he's so quiet on social media too but he's so talented and can't say enough good things about him well if you need me to go up there and check him out and have a nice <laughs> vacation up in traverse city i'll see him next summer maybe Um, but we'll see about that. So um, top contenders for him. Is there a school that could swoop in out of state and, you know, that he would really be intrigued in? And, you know, I know we can't 
they can't take visits right now, but let's say visits open up before he makes that spring decision. Is there someone he would go down and see maybe an elite school in the South or around the country, or, or what kind of recruitment do you see this being, national, regional, uh, within the state of Michigan? How do you see it playing out? Yeah, I get the sense Josh wants to stay closer to home. Um, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if he explores some of those national options, but I think uh, Josh is more of the fits the Midwest profile, kind of wants to stay in a Big Ten country. So um, I, I would say some of the major contain, contenders, obviously starting off with Michigan, uh, you know, he grew up in a, a family of Michigan fans. It's a school that he's always loved. He's been to campus before. Um, he's connecting with the coaching staff really well. Uh, Jim Harbaugh actually watched the game that I was at online. He streamed Josh's game. Oh, nice. um, so Jim Harbaugh is personally involved in his recruitment. Uh, new linebackers coach uh, Brian Jean Mary has been terrific so far in that recruitment. And it's a little bit of a staff effort. Uh, Jerome Moore has been, you know, really heavily involved as well. So they're going all in on Josh. I think Michigan's definitely a top school, uh, you know, outside of Michigan, Ohio State. Uh, is the school that probably scares me the most right now. Ryan Day has been personally recruiting him from the day that he offered Josh. And I know he's a top target for Ohio State. And so that's going to be, you know, a tough one. Uh, Notre Dame just offered, you know, he, he hasn't mentioned Notre Dame too much, but Josh is a really high academic, quiet kid uh, that could, you know, get more interested in Notre Dame uh, just kind of from his profile. Mm -hmm. uh, so I feel like Notre Dame, could be a, a factor. I know he really liked Wisconsin. Um, you know that staff's been recruiting him really hard. It would be kind of a, an outlier pick, I guess, to pick Wisconsin over some of the. They've had some programs. good linebackers, but, but yeah. yeah, they've had some good linebackers, and uh, he kind of is a kid that might do an outlier thing. So uh, Wisconsin's one that I definitely wouldn't sleep on either. You, uh, we've talked about this in previous videos. Will Johnson is the number one target the most important recruit in the class of 2022 josh burnham number two though yeah i think with will it's just more of like the magnetic personality the respect he commands the perception like i said will kind of exemplifies yeah. the city of detroit uh and, and the, the metro area where josh is just so far away he doesn't you know really care about recruiting he's not you know friends with the other <laughs> recruits so right. That, that's why, but I mean, from a talent standpoint, like I said, I think Josh, uh, you know, could easily be a top 100 guy, if not top 50. It could be him and Junior Colson and all those guys running around in a few years, but we'll keep an eye on this recruitment as always. Uh, head over to thewolverine.com for some more in-depth uh, premium content. Use promo code BLUE60 if you're not with us already. You get two months for free of our premium coverage. We'll catch everybody next time here on the Wolverine TV.